Test. There we go. Welcome back, Maverick Gamers. Um, just thought I'd um, post a little bit of a stream, not playing video games for a change, but just thought I'd get everybody caught up in the uh, goings-ons and the Maverickverse. I just made that up, actually, the Maverickverse. Um, so if you've been paying attention to the channel um, on and off, you'll notice that uh, above you, uh, there is some rebranding going on. Specifically, it is tied to my business. So I've kind of purged the, um, the branding of the Game Nexus um, in general, across all of my social media platforms, specifically YouTube, um, and I've also closed down the website, the Game Nexus, uh, into the GameNexus.com website. Um, that's significant because um, I've actually been running that website for about, geez, probably about five years. No, more like eight years, actually. Um, and, you know, in fairness to it, I, I don't know if I ever really gave it the good old uh, college try. Um, for the most part, I posted articles, reposted to social media and hoped that I would get some traction. And, you know, on and off, I would have consistency. The big thing was that I didn't have it. I didn't have consistency. So for the most part, I would post an article and then post another one a month later and a month later. And then maybe I'd get a little bit of a creative burst and post for, you know, a couple days. Um, but really, for somebody who, you know, had a lot of time or, you know, maybe I didn't have a lot of time back then, you know, I didn't really give it a good try. Um, but I did learn a lot from it. I learned a lot about how to market a brand. Um, I learned how to navigate within the space of the gaming world and, and how all those interconnected parts like YouTube, Twitter, and uh, Twitch, as well as a website kind of interconnect with each other. So I, I guess, you know, I, if anything, I did get um, some new skills out of it. So fast forward to today, uh, or fast forward to most recent weeks, I made the conscious decision to retire the website. Um, the brand Game Nexus still floats around, especially if you look at some of the old archive videos on YouTube. Um, but the biggest change is that I decided to lean into my business. So in 2021, I officially launched Maverick Games Learning and Support Services. Uh, it had been sort of in gestation in 2020 and earlier, but officially launched in 2021. Uh, what this is, is it is a, um, uh, I am a uh, learning support provider. So not only that, I work specifically with children who have autism and other exceptionalities like ADHD, uh, dyslexia, as well as learning disabilities. Um, the way that I bring that support to uh, these uh, children is that I do it through gaming, whether that be tabletop gaming like Dungeons and Dragons or whether that be um, video games. Uh, yeah, I do have sessions where I play video games with uh, younger players. So that is the core focus of the business. The business is to support children with autism. I am a, um, a licensed service provider uh, for autism. I am registered with Autism BC, which means I am officially able to provide that support and allow parents to use their funding that the government provides for them when they have children with autism to help supplement their social needs as well as their education and academic. So making that decision to rebrand with the Maverick Games uh, branding um, was a big one because it then potentially separated me from a lot of other Twitch streamers, YouTube streamers um, in the type of content that I deliver. So on the surface, you're going to see not much has changed, possibly a slight skew towards Dungeons and Dragons as a focus for my content. Um, but underneath all of that, the type of content I'm delivering is aimed at um, parents. So you might see me referencing parents and such, as well as new gamers. Uh, I'm not so much invested in reaching out to existing gamers, although by default, some of my content might sort of be that type of content that they enjoy. Uh, the underlying um, theme of the content is to provide information to younger gamers and parents who might not know much about um, Dungeons and Dragons and the world of gaming. I'll just give you an example of some of the things that I do with my Dungeons and Dragons programs, just to give you an idea of what some of the content you're going to see is going to be about. So typically my, my programs run with about four children, sometimes less, sometimes a little bit more. And the, the focus is primarily to bring them together in a social environment, whether that be a fantasy social environment or whether that be a real social environment. Now, all of my programs are run online. So the challenge is not having them in the same space together, but forming those connections. 
And those are different types of connections than you would have normally in a physical space. Um, a lot of the times, um, being able to connect with somebody in a physical space might take a little bit longer um, and it might be more of a lead up. Whereas in online spaces, often you find that those barriers are removed. Um, for one, I don't mandate webcams. Um, so, you, you know, the players don't actually have to see each other. So you can just have your voice heard, that's fine. Um, now, there are problems that arise with, uh, you know, non-in-person style social interactions where we have distractions and, of course, the computer screen they're using to interact has lots of mechanisms to pull their attention away. Uh, so that's some of the things I deal with. But specifically through Dungeons & Dragons, um, my adventures and my uh, sessions, which are two hours long typically every day, um, are blended with a lot of social, uh, let's say fantasy social, themes. So their characters are making social interactions and through their characters hopefully the, uh, the young students can see um, how they would react in real life. Point in case, you know, quest givers interacting with NPCs, um, you know, heck even monsters, um, how they deal with these types of encounters socially and, you know, inevitably it's going to come down to non-social encounters when you're dealing with monsters. But through these encounters, I can sort of lay the groundwork on how they might approach an encounter in real life. Now, the other aspect is also how they interact with each other. So that, again, is a, all a part of how I craft these programs and craft these scenarios. Um, so, you know, overall, I, I don't think you're going to see a huge shift in content type. Uh, if you follow us on YouTube, um, if you had been notified of our videos with the uh, Into the Game Nexus YouTube channel, you're going to have to go back and revisit it. You're going to have to actually go in and check off notifications because when I changed the name, it actually removed notifications from all our subscribers. I don't know why that, I don't know why that was a thing. Um, I, whatever. Anyway, so you're going to have to go back and re-notify if you want to get alerted to our new video content stuff. If you haven't and you're just watching this for the first time, um, just go and visit Maverick Games uh, LSS uh, on YouTube. You should be able to find our videos there and uh, make sure you subscribe and uh, click on those notifications as well. My current schedule is three posts weekly. So you'll get uh, a video on Monday, you'll get a video on Wednesday, and you'll get a video on Friday. And hopefully I'm going to be able to maintain that cadence um, throughout the months to come. My job um, is a very um, focused job, meaning I put a lot of effort and a lot of work behind the scenes. My sessions only run for two hours, so um, for all you haters out there, yes, I only work for two hours uh, a day um, as far as my actual work schedule goes, but there's a lot of time spent on the computer, spent doing a lot of prep work. So um, I do have a lot of time that I can make this content. So my hopefully, my, my goal is to continue on with this schedule three times a week and, uh, and hopefully build this channel. Um, with feedback from you and, and ideas from myself as well on, on how to deliver content that's going to be received well. So thank you for watching this little stream. Um, if you are planning on watching me on Twitch, if you're going to continue tuning into my videos, what you'll see usually nightly, um, you know, depending on my mood and whatnot, is you're going to just see casual streaming from me. My goal is not to build a uh, Twitch audience. Um, I'm not looking at becoming the next big hit as far as... Uh, streaming goes. Um, I basically want to use streaming as a way to sort of let everybody get a glimpse as to what I'm enjoying gaming wise. But, and bear with me here, this is kind of silly. Um, I'm actually, you know, Twitch streaming is a little therapeutic. Um, I work in a very isolated bubble. I don't have a lot of co-workers. I don't have um, anybody that I work alongside with. Uh, most of my work is spent inside uh, in my office and yeah, I don't, I don't have a really big social component to my, my work life. So Twitch streaming is sort of my way of throwing myself into the world. And even though it's not really happening these days, I don't have more than a Twitch bot viewing my streams. Um, so when I see that one pop up, then I know I've got that AI computer watching me. But it's a way for me to throw myself out into the world and get, get some social connections, even though they're not talking back or even though uh, I'm not interacting. The fact that I'm I'm out there and available um, kind of makes me feel a little bit less isolated so that's a number that's that's mainly the reason why I twitch stream but I'm definitely open to talking and you might see streams like this from time to time mostly you're just gonna see me playing video games um, I might not be talkative I might be talkative but if you are watching or lurking in the background feel free to jump in uh, strike up a conversation I'm more than willing to talk video games or whatever else you want to talk about um, while I'm playing games
So thanks for tuning in, guys. Um, I'm going to go and uh, do some more work prep today. Might grab myself an ice cap from Tim Hortons. It's my big thing these days. And um, in the meantime, I'll, uh, I'll catch you soon on one of my platforms. Take care. Before you go, I need your help. I'm trying to grow the exposure of what we do here at Maverick Games. My goal is to actually bring information to parents and students around the world in hopes that they can see gaming as a path forward for learning, academics, and even support of neurodivergency. Please subscribe, make sure you click on those notifications, and I hope that you'll find content here that'll be helpful for you and maybe others. Thank you very much, and thanks for tuning in.